Well, good evening, everyone, to our citizen engagement to inform the Douglas County Strategic Plan. My name is Lionel Savage, and uh, I want to go over a few things with you before we get started tonight. Um, welcome, everyone. Glad to see that you have joined us. So a few simple requests for today's activity. One, uh, my video isn't on just yet, <laughs> but we will request that everyone have their videos on for this meeting. Um, of course, we are recording this meeting and we're gonna rebroadcast it back out to the general public. Two, we would ask that you keep your microphones on mute um, as we go through the process of having each one of you share this evening. And we'll ask you to remove yourself off mute when it's your turn. And then, um, then after that, uh, if you could please go back on mute. And that's just so that we can have um, a quality recording and uh, not have a lot of interference. So some of you may be asking, how can you share feedback? Uh, if you look in the chat section tonight, you can see um, what the number one way to share feedback is, is to click on www.celebratedouglascounty.com forward slash strategic planning feedback. Um, if you have not done so already, even during this meeting, feel free to click on that link in the chat section and give us your set of recommendations uh, while we're here in the meeting. There is no time like the present. Secondly, if you have any questions about the initiative or about the project, you can send us an email at any time over the next several months. And our project uh, email account is douglasforward2025 at co.douglas.ga.us. And then uh, what, we're, what we're calling, um, you know, our, our citizen engagement strategy is really to have these virtual discussions. We're planning, uh, we're estimating that we'll probably have about 50 meetings over the next several months with citizens uh, throughout Douglas County, different stakeholders, different groups. Uh, tonight, you are a very important group uh, that we wanted to speak with. And so um, we welcome you to our virtual meeting. So those are the only rules of the road for tonight. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to introduce our host for this evening, Ms. Tracy Crooks, who's a part of our Douglas Ford 2025 uh, project team. Tracy. Thank you so much, Lionel. I appreciate the introduction. It is a great pleasure for me to be the host tonight. And I would like to welcome our distinguished guests, those who live, work, shop, and serve Douglas County. We are honored and grateful to have your, you leaders of our great divine nine to, to, to participate in our first strategic planning session for the Douglas County Forward 2025 initiative, focusing on engaging in conversation about the needs and expectations of our county and to assist in the development of our county goals. I knew you were going to be the best entity to engage so that we can hear what you had to say, your professionals, you serve this county, you're dedicated here, and your members encompass all ages from your young adults to our seasoned seniors with a wealth of knowledge and experience who represents all of our districts. So at this time, I would like to uh, see who's on the call and really just talk about if we can just um, introductions. I will say, I saw a couple of names um, prior to uh, speaking, but um, I believe we have a representative. If not, the uh, we've asked that the president join the call or one of their senior leaders to step in for them for this. Uh, we should have Ms. Sharon Owens or representative of Delta Sigma Theta. We have Ms. Nia Brown, um, of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Ms. Deborah Crump of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. I believe we have Ms. Di, um, uh, Ms. Um, Hollinsworth of Zeta Phi Beta and Mr. Harold Lawson 
uh, representing Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. If there are any others, we will uh, make sure that you are introduced. With that being said, um, Lionel explained uh, the ways that we would like for you to engage your members um, throughout this process. The goal is to really just to be heard. We want to hear your top five, whether it be concerns, issues, what you would like to see for the county. If you've had an opportunity to fill out the survey prior to this call, we kind of want to hear what you have to say as leaders. And the same will be for your members. Um, at the end, I will allow, whether it be um, Lionel or Tiffany to speak on, you know, how often we wanna get this out immediately. Uh, if you have any questions in reference to the data, the data will also, uh, automatically be filtered and we are collecting that data. And if Lionel wants to talk more about in-depthly how he will disperse this information, I'll let him um, fill in. But I do think it would uh, be great to hear, at least from the leaders, allow them to introduce themselves. So um, let's see if we can see who we have on the call first. All right. Well, I said Ms. Owens, so why don't we start with Ms. Owens? Would you like to briefly um, introduce yourself? And um, if you can, you can let me know too, why don't you just tell us if you did have an opportunity to fill out the survey and your top, whether it be your top five or if you had a chance to fill out two or three, we will welcome those. Thank you. Um, Ms. Owens, are you on mute? Okay, I'll tell you what, uh, we will come back to Ms. Owen. Ms. Owens, um, I don't know if you are on mute, but we'll go ahead to the next person, uh, Ms. Nia Brown. I believe you are. Can you on hear me? Good yes, evening, citizens and, and friends. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And thank you for the invitation to participate in this very important meeting. I did have an opportunity to um, take the survey as president of the Sigma Omega Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Uh, we've been serving Douglas County for 30 years. We were the first black Greek letter organization in the county. So we certainly have a vested interest in making sure that um, as, as, a st as stakeholders um, that we have a seat at the table to speak to the issues that are important to us. Um, primarily, we are concerned with the economic development of our community. We want to make sure that we remain viable and competitive so that our property values continue to be attractive. Um, I'm sure most of you have noticed even as it relates to, let's say, Arbor Place Mall. We have seen a mass exodus of some of the more promising um, retailers. So that's an area of concern for us. Now, I always like to balance things. Uh, we are quite pleased with some of the notable corporations that are, have been coming to the county, such as Switch, um, Amazon, to name a few, Google. So that's that's a tremendous benefit, but nonetheless, we remain concerned about some other areas of economic development. Uh, the second issue that I'm sure is relevant to all of us is public safety and crime reduction. We appreciate what Sheriff Pounds does in Douglas County and with Chief Sparks with the city of Douglasville, but we want to make sure that Douglas County is a place where it is safe for us to raise our children. And the third area of interest uh, that's I think hot and heavy on everybody's mind right now is public health. Coronavirus taught us that we must always have an infrastructure and framework in place so that we're ready to address any issues that face us at a moment's notice. Thank you again for the opportunity to share what's of value to us. Thank you so much, um, President. Um, Brown, we appreciate the uh, information. Your feedback is on point. Uh, 
it's it's really um, just to let you know and give you comfort. We've had a, a call with District 1 and some of the same concerns were um, echoed. So I just wanna say thank you so much. All right, I did receive, I think in chat that Ms. Owens has lost power. Um, Ms. Owens, um, has she gained power? Is there someone in her place? Can you see me or hear me now? Yes, we can. Thank you so much. Welcome, Ms. Owens. Sorry about that. Um, before I, I think the question was uh, for about my organization. Again, my name is Sharon Owens. I'm the president of the Douglas Carroll Paulding County's alumni chapter. Um, and I have with me three of the three of my constituents who are very who live, work, and are heavily in, get involved in many things that's in Douglas in the Douglasville area. Um, again, uh, we are a chapter of over 374 members. We were chartered here April 22nd in 2007. So we have grown from 74 members to over 370, where a lot of the members are uh, residents in the Douglas County area. Some of the information that I was that was shared with uh, myself that they wanted to make sure was said, and I'm going to quote them ver verbatim, was we need to look at bringing businesses that attribute to health instead of liquor stores, dollar stores, NOAA places. We need places like a Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. We need restaurants that will keep the money in Douglas County instead of folk leaving. We need to follow up on businesses that have been approved to be here since 2017, like Lytle. And I'm sure that there are other, you know, things that the other members who are on, we have Dr. Tiffany Ringfield, we have Sharon Jones, and we have uh, Shantice Jenkins Floyd. So I'm not sure if you want to hear from them at that moment to share their uh, specific information or with that. But I do want to echo that, yes, health, safety, business opportunities, and education are top things on our uh, list of things that we would like to make sure is looked at worked on, encouraged, and maintained at a high level in the county going forward, as well as all the information that's going on with this uh, voter registration and this voter thing. So those are well, absolutely. Topics. Well, thank you so much, um, President Owens. Um, yes, and just to let you know, absolutely. Some of the same topics in regards to our money staying here in our county, um, more um, eateries that would be, uh, I think that, you know, would actually uh, we want versus what whatever statistics or whatever demographics, the old studies, but the new, we think about the people that have moved here to Douglas County, the things they want, like our Trader Joe's, et cetera. So yes, we uh, appreciate that feedback. If your other members have anything to add in, you know, to that may be different, feel free to do so. Thank you, this is Sean. For inviting them. Thank you so much for having me here today. I echo the uh, comments of, uh, of Sharon. And I also would like to add that I think what's important in this period of development and growth for Douglas County is also preserving its character to some degree mm -hmm. and not allowing its character, the good aspects of its character, let me clarify, to be overrun by all of the development. There's a reason why people choose to live in Douglas County versus Fulton County. There's a reason why they might have my, are migrating to this area. And I think it's important to have a good balance between uh, preservation and growth. Thank you. That is uh, very important. We do want to keep our character and I think Douglas has a rich history, a history to be proud of. And I just think about the green space as well. So, and walkability, I think that's um, some of the uh, concerns that um, citizens have. So thank you so much. Anyone else from Delta Sigma Theta? I did I want to, um, well, I kind of wanted to know where the progress was with the, with the Civic Center that was being proposed. I don't know, I heard a bit about that from some of the um, commissioners uh, for the city, from the city of Douglasville. Then also full service hotels and, um, and sidewalks. Those are some of the concerns that some of the other people that I've talked to in the area. And I'm also a business owner here in Douglas County. So um, my clinic is here. I don't have to leave Douglas County for anything really, uh, you know, unless it's something special, but um, 
full service hotels are something that we as an organization have uh, strived for. We, it's hurt us, we, you know, we hate to leave the county, you know, for certain activities, but it's a must because we can't get that full service that we need. So we would love to stay here and do what we need to do to, to help grow the economy here in our, in our local service area. Very important points, uh, if I can, I just wanna say, um, I wanna say extremely important points because I believe everyone on this call can um, relate to the fact that when we hold certain events, et cetera, we would love, we would love to keep that money right here. And just for the convenience, you know, not to have to commute into the city of Atlanta to hold our gatherings. So excellent point, thank you. And I believe there was someone else from, is someone else from um, the yes. organization would like to chime in? Yes, I'm Sharon Jones and I'm a retired educator and I have uh, grandkids who are now in the school system. And I remember years ago, we talked about the possibility of making sure that uh, internet service ran throughout the county. And that was that is a concern of mine. And I hope sometime soon down the road, we can look into that because with this pandemic that's going on, a lot of children were given laptops, but a lot of them didn't have the service. And I know that in some instances and in some counties that is available. And I'd also like to piggyback on the civic center that Tiffany mentioned. You know, even our sorority and other Divine Nine organizations meet and, and, and we have to find places to meet and we have to find, go downtown for our events. Even the seniors who graduate from high school uh, were going to Carrollton to use their civic center so there is, you know, there are ways to keep money in Douglas County. We just have to figure out uh, a, a way to make this happen. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Jones. Uh, very um, extremely important points, especially in regards to internet service. I think if nothing else, this pandemic has taught us that we need to have not only internet access, but fast, speed internet access. So um, we will take note of that. Um, we would like to move on if we can. Let's go back and see who we have met. Bear with me. Taking a lot of notes myself. The next person we have is Miss Deborah Crump representing Alpha Kappa Alpha, Miss Crump. Uh, good afternoon or good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Deborah Crump, and I am with the Preeminent Pearls of Paulding County, and which is an interest group for Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. And I guess what I would end up saying is redundant to what everyone else has said. Um, I was really because a couple of things that you said that I had forgotten about and really wanted to put on there sidewalks is one, but I was concerned about seeing all these little uh, pop-up stores like under 10 and, and dollar stores, because when you start getting that, it changes the trajectory of what's going on in your community. It brings a certain um, group, not being an elitist, I'm just saying that it changes uh, what's going on. And my concern in Sornia, President um, Brown put it um, eloquently about the economic development. I was concerned that we've lost the thing that brought me to Douglas County was that I could go to the shopping center down the street and I did not have to drive into Atlanta or somewhere else to get those things. It also was that I could go and dine here. And a lot of those places have left and in terms of having a full service hotel, that is an excellent idea because coming from nor up north, 
I often say, why are we going into Atlanta and not being able to do what we need to do right here in Douglas County? And so I think that that's something that we certainly should look at. One of the items that I had on my list was, I don't feel like we have enough in the county for young people. We need to have uh, find some kind of employment, even if it means that we had a summer program for them to pick up the debris and the paper and help clean the streets or do something in the community to um, help them to become stakeholders in our community. I would like to see that. And I know that we have to go on the other side of town to go to the community center. And I would like to see something on the county side over here um, for our seniors, for the uh, like a full service where they can get college counseling, where the seniors can have some things that don't have to necessarily get on the bus and go across town. Those kinds of things that, that um, <clears throat> I would like to see as well. And the internet service is a, is a good one. And public safety, I noticed a little of that is beginning to change. I was a little concerned when I saw that a policeman got shot uh, just this couple of days ago. And um, that was one of the things that brought me to Douglas County because of the safety. And one last, one more thing is I want to see how we can continue to enhance diversity because when we have diversity in our community, it makes a difference. And I see that it's beginning to kind of flip and people are beginning to kind of leave. And how can we bring those people and bring diversity back? When we have summer activities, we have to have uh, an array of things that will uh, lend itself to several different cultures. And so that's, that's what I'm looking at. Well, thank you so much, um, Dr. Crump, um, and being a, a resident of Douglas County and many of the members of the um, interest group who are who live and work in Douglas County. Uh, with that being said, I, I've taken many notes and some of the things that you mentioned in regards to too many low cost retailers being a concern, uh, sidewalks in regards to something new, um, that was um, introduced was um, more employment opportunities for our, our youth and in regards to to continue or should we say put an emphasis on embracing diversity. I think that is a, a very strong um, new something new that I have heard. I think that we are just here in, in Douglas County. It, it, it used to it's, it's been one way or the other. And we have been able to see over the last 15 years where we flipped it. And uh, with that being said, I think it's like someone said earlier, I think it's, it's great to have balance. I think balance uh, is best for everyone. So thank you so much. And now, last but not least, I want to say welcome to Mr. Harold Lawson, the only man we have representing <laughs> Uh, our fraternities, but um, you know what? You're the best one to do this job, to represent all the men. So we want to say welcome to you. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Good good evening, everybody. Um, just want to uh, all just say thank you for the invite. It's always a pleasure to partake in, in things to uh, give feedback uh, regarding Douglas County. Uh, I'm Harold Lawson, uh, Paul Mark president for Carroll and Douglasville alumni chapter. And um, I want to, um, though, uh, Dr. Ringfield, uh, it's, it's almost a disadvantage sometimes to be a male because of ladies first, right? And you all have echoed in what we, we're going to say, but I'm going to definitely still speak on uh, the voice of the brothers. So what I did, I live in Paulding County, but you know, obviously we serve Douglas County and uh, Carroll County. So um, some of the five points, I did fill out the form, but I want to just echo what they said and we represent, a lot of them represent District 1. We did fill out the form, so District 1. And some of the things the brother said, um, uh, piggybacking on what my good friend and my uh, uh, Dr. Crump said, um, so they, they, they mentioned sidewalks for major streets, you know, such as Chapel Hill and Highway 5. Uh, they also mentioned as a response a, a high need of code enforcement for property of upkeep. Uh, they also said affordable housing for seniors uh, to expedite the outdoor amphitheater, 
uh, a moratorium for trailer parks. And then also that was earlier mentioned, uh, keeping our roads clean and gateway signage. And so um, also just to um, elaborate, um, it is important to um, be, and, and also near, again, it's, it's great to see all of you all. I've been having trials, so I'm just looking at these faces and, you know, with COVID, we used to get, and sharing, and it's great to see you all because we used to get together in some form of fashion supporting each other. And the piggyback on that is really important because with um, what we do as capitalists, we try and do a lot, as everybody else, a lot of um, uh, fundraising activities, right? And so we find it that one of, one of the kickbacks for us is, well, Brother Paul Mark, try and make sure we support Douglas County. Well, the, um, the disadvantage is when we look for various events, there's nothing in Douglas County that would house what we need, you know, to um, put on, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, a spectacular event. So definitely um, we need some, uh, the hotels and, and, and various centers so we can have these, these things in, uh, in Douglas County. Perfect example for, from a cap perspective, uh, two years ago, uh, our chapter was the host of our regional, uh, you know, uh, conference. And so um, we were charged with that. And so we brought um, hundreds and hundreds and uh, close to a thousand campus to Atlanta. And by us being the host, you know, Carol Douglasville, we could not host it in Douglas County. So we had to um, pick the Waverly Hotel in Cobb to have to host our, uh, what we call our, um, our, our, our conference, you know, our province council. So that's a perfect example that, you know, what would have been, could have been in uh, Douglas County, but we had to give it to Cobb County and spend all that money and have parties and things of this nature and bring leadership down here where they didn't get to see Douglas County. Uh, thank goodness uh, the mayor, uh, our lovely mayor, uh, Richard Robinson, she was one of our speakers and she talked about Douglas County, and they were ready, and some of them were ready to move to Douglas County. She was, they saw her, and again, that's that advantage of women. They were very excited to see Madam Mayor. I'm, I'm going to put that out there, nukes, right? But just the fact that she really um, sold up uh, Douglas County. So we would really love to see that happen, and uh, so we can continue to put money poured into uh, Douglas County as the fraternity picks us to host other events, and we have Douglas County to do that in. So that's a, that's a little side point I wanted to um, bring up and just mention from our perspective. So thank you again for the invite and to Douglas County leadership as well. So it's an honor for me to uh, participate. Thank you again. Thank you so much, um, President Lawson. I, I want to say that um, just a few days ago, we had, I think I mentioned earlier, District 1 uh, Commissioner Mitchell um, he had his uh, first strategic planning session and um, some of the business owners and residents of District 1 definitely brought up a lot of what you spoke about tonight, which was um, code enforcement, beautification, um, uh, affordable housing, uh, of course, sidewalks for Chapel Hill and, and Highway 5. That's, that's new because you specifically uh, targeted to main streets. So I think that's good. And another thing that I, I was able to capture, the signage, that gateway signage, I think. And because we talked about that um, a little bit, but I don't think the name gateway signage came about. And I think that is very good to be able to add. And you gave us an example of your, you know, a, a, a time when we could have spotlighted um, Douglas County and had money to stay here with your regional conference. And like I said, with all of us on this call, we know we have to put on not only just an event, but it needs to be the best event. It needs to represent who we stand for. And also we need to just basically have the space. So um, it is duly noted and we wanna thank you for that feedback. And at this time, I wanna make sure no one has been missed. We wanna give everyone the opportunity to um, share. Wanna make sure, is there anyone else on the call that did not get a chance to speak or would like to say anything else? Hi, Tracy. 
This hi, is Katrina. Hi, hi, Katrina. How are Good you? to see you. Good to see you. I'm well. I'm well. You everybody. Look great. <laughs> okay. uh, so I am uh, also representing the Sigma Omega Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha as the uh, community partnerships chair uh, under our president Nia Brown. Um, and and I was just listening because I was still working. So um, I was just listening and could not uh, bring up my, my screen. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, one thing that, um, that I will say, uh, both working in the county, uh, having children to um, go through Douglas County Schools, we're on our last one getting ready to graduate this year. Um, and, um, and my husband also working in the county and working in the school system. So, you know, we have kind of a broad perspective of, of what the county uh, looks like. One of the things that I'd like to bring up is um, just the lack of, of green spaces. And so one of the things that, that COVID-19 has definitely taught us is uh, folks just wanna go outside to breathe. Um, and, and in this county, we, we lack green spaces, you know, during this time, um, my husband and I actually took up uh, cycling and there's literally uh, nowhere for us to really get that activity in, in the county. There's a, there's a small trail on, um, in boundary waters, but not to the degree, I think it's only like a mile long. So for, for those cyclists, we're having to travel to Calling to, to get on the Silver Comet Trail or, or Cobb to, to reach the trailhead there or Carrollton to get on the Carrollton uh, Greenbelt. Um, so, you know, there's, there's definitely a lack of, of, of green space. And the other part of that is having those green spaces helps folks' mental health. Um, just being able to, to, to get outside and, and breathe and and exercise or, you know, walk, cycle, or, or just, just hang out. Um, and the county definitely, definitely lacks those. We always have to go outside of the county. And I just always think about things that um, we, we have to go outside of the county for. And I don't, at the risk of sounding redundant, you know, I know that we've, um, that we've, we're trying to bring some more fine dining establishments to the county. Um, but, you know, of course, the, that's going to come growing pains, you know, um, Douglas County demographics have changed. And so, um, you know, some of the things that we're talking about are just kind of the regular growing pains of, of where we are in the county and, and then still trying to get those things here. Um, but, yeah, uh, the green space is a is a is a huge one. Um, I, I, I like for us to I think that there needs to be a rallying around our local businesses. Our local businesses have been shuttered during this pandemic. Um, a lot of them just have not been able to survive. So when we talk about, you know, we don't have these things, um, we, we are trying to get them, but I think that there needs to be some, some, some community rallying around how do we get folks to, um, to embrace what we do have. Um, in terms of, of our local businesses, because, you know, you have the, the you know, uh, Table 25 just opened. I know that's uh, city of Douglasville um, as far as its, its location, but just other places where um, we just kind of need to, to embrace what we do have. But green spaces is huge for, for, for me personally. Well, I wanna say thank you so much, uh, Ms. Harley, great input. And one thing that really stood out is the fact that when you said green space helps people with their mental health, the connectivity, I think, uh, which has been said in different forms, I like the fact that the connectivity there is easy to, to relate to. I think if nothing else this time, we all know we were going stir crazy. And with that being said, the first time we were able to even get out or learn how to live in this environment, we knew that our mental health would automatically improve. So thank you so much for all of your input. Um, at this time, I would like to say, 
uh, I know there's a few questions in the chat box. This is more for you to provide information at this time. I will allow um, Mr. Savage to actually go into, again, as far as collecting the data, um, the inputs and the outputs, and, and you know, hopefully maybe next time we can have the commissioners on the call. I think this is just still a great forum to gather information allow them to take the information, absorb it, look at it, and then maybe um, the next session could be a different platform because I know that you all have questions. But again, remember, this is a roadmap of a 2025. So I know they will have short-term and long-term goals. So um, I don't want it to become where we have all the answers for you tonight. Again, this is a forum for you to express your um, your concerns and what you would like to see for the county. And again, we want you to be able, in which I know some of you have been able to collect this data but uh, with, from your members, but ongoing and send it out again so that we can actually hear from them. A lot of times people may feel like, you know, I don't want to say that, I'm afraid, but if they have their survey themselves, they can express themselves the way they want to. And that is the key. We want you to be able to share that same link and allow your members to complete it. And that's something where you just send it out one time, uh, it's especially this time, and then the data will go directly to the, um, the inbox of the um, emails that you have uh, received. So with that being said, uh, I want to say thank you. I knew it was going to be a success, just our first call, because anytime anybody needs anything, and I think I'll just say this, since our vice president, you know, through this whole past presidential election, uh, I think that she has opened the eyes of not just the African-American uh, people, but the whole world, how important the divine nine is, because again, we encompass every box that you can think of. So I am proud and to know you all, even those I've not met before, but I do know most of you, <laughs> just to hear you, your wealth of knowledge, and I am just excited to see where we will go with this. So again, I would like to say on behalf of hosting, thank you so much for your input. At this time, I would turn it back over to Tracy. Mr. Hey, Tracy, you have a hand up. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm going to turn it over to him first, Mr. Savage, uh, and I will let him uh, say what he needs to do and if he wants to go into the uh, chat, etc. Thank you. Well, well uh, thank you, Tracy. Uh, Marcus was the one person that we were waiting for, so that's. That's what the others were, were trying to signal to us. So Marcus, please share with us. And then when you're finished, um, I'll have a couple of instructions for the team. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Savage. And I want to say I apologize for that because I did not see another person. Uh, so um, my apologies. Thank you. Well, good evening, everybody. You know what uh, you know, the good book says about the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Uh, but we're all friends for the most part. I know everybody that's on the call. Uh, good evening um, to everybody. Hope all is well. Um, in addition to everything that everybody said, um, one of the things that I would really, really uh, prompt you to take back to your organizations is connecting with the chamber. Um, that's why I'm late to this call because I just left the uh, chamber event that they have monthly. And when you talk about being able to to express your need as an organization, as well as making those connections to the small businesses that we have in the, com in the community, that is a great venue for it. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the chamber uh, and more so for those who are not, uh, there's always emails, there's always networking opportunities, there's always uh, professional development opportunities provided through the chamber for the members of Douglas County. So um, when you talk about wanting to get your events out, uh, for example, we just had our shotgun raffle uh, that we were doing for our scholarship program, and we were able to publicize that through the chamber and all of their uh, outlets. And, you know, that helped broaden our scope 
outside of our normal range of audiences that we are able to touch. So just something that, you know, you want to take back and really, really consider um, going forward. Um, they have their chamber after dark or business after hours meetings uh, monthly. Uh, I think I want to say it's like the last week of every month. Uh, typically it's on a Thursday, but because of Easter season, um, they decided to uh, switch it up a little bit. So uh, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, thank you, Mr. Savage, for allowing me to uh, jump in at the tail end. Uh, and I wish everybody well. Thank you so much, uh, Marcus. I, I do have a question. Will you be able, uh, there was a, a link that was sent to your president. Will you be able to uh, just make note to him in regards to the link with the um, the opportunity for the members to um, provide their responses as well. Yes, ma'am, I will. Okay, again, I apologize because uh, my screen did not show where you were on the call and, or, and you were standing in for him. So thank you so much um, at this time. Is there anyone else? I wanna make sure before, <laughs> I do not see anyone else. Again, thank you, everyone. We'll turn it back over to um, Mr. Savage, Lionel Savage. Well, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Tracy did an outstanding job of bringing this team together, uh, the leaders of these uh, outstanding organizations and uh, facilitating tonight's discussion. So uh, a couple things really quick. I'm going to officially end this call and turn the video off. Um, but I want everyone to stay put because I'm going to talk with you uh, about some things that we need to do going forward that's really not necessary uh, to broadcast uh, for the meeting uh, uh, that we're going to uh, rebroadcast this in the next 48 hours. So um, I also want to acknowledge um, our usual host for the evening, Ms. Tiffany Stewart Stanley. Uh, she got a night off, but she will be back at it tomorrow night um, with another set of constituents. We're, we're literally almost every night of the week talking to citizens in and around the county, and we're really excited about that. So um, what I'd like for you guys to do is just pause for a second um, as we say good night, and then we will come back and talk through some other details. So thank you so much for joining us this evening uh, for our virtual engagement with the Divine Nine, which is an outstanding job by our host, Ms. Tracy Crooks.